Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, on this wonderful Sunday. I thought I'd sit back a little while and watch a little TV. But what amazes me is that on every channel, I mean, even the premium channels, they have documentaries of an uh, unarmed black man being shot. They even had a long documentary of the incident in South Carolina uh, where Dylan Roof murdered several black people in a church. And... Uh, it just makes sense to me that people uh, with such tension, uh, a tense environment right now that the, all they have to offer is to anger people. When people see this type of stuff constantly, especially in tense uh, environments, people get angry. And people start thinking about old stuff. Then I wouldn't have a problem with these channels. They also provided a solution. See... I think education is when you can listen to almost anything without losing your temper or your self-confidence. And unfortunately, a lot of us can't do that. You know, people say, well, Dion, you talk about the news media and the network television not having a solution. What is your solution? A solution is very simple. We have to choose our words wisely you know when we are with our children and we see things like what happened to George Floyd it is unfortunate that most of us who tell our children see that's how they are when you say they you include in every police officer or if you see somebody like Dylan Roof murdering a bunch of innocent people in the church, black people tend to say, see, that's how they are. And it includes all white people. Or white people see criminal blacks, gangbangers kill each other in Chicago. You sit back and say, that's how they are. And it includes all black people. See, we got to get away from that. See, people are evil individually, not as a culture. A culture is not even in the Muslim community. Not all are bad. I mean, I know the, the, the media would love for you to think that, but they're not. Um, I've been in contact with many. So we got to choose our words carefully. When we see somebody doing bad, you see that person is bad. His ideology is bad. Not his color, not his uniform, and not his religion. We're getting lost and being baited into being angry with, their, with each other for no particular reason. And most of us don't even realize we use the they word. I've caught a lot of people on my page that, well, they're killing blacks and they're killing each other in Chicago. Look, as I've said before, blacks who kill blacks make up a small percentage of the blacks that live in this country. And whites who hate black people make up a small percentage of the white people in this country. White supremacists make up a very small percentage of this country. And I choose to believe that bad police officers make up a small percentage of policemen in this country. There's a lot of police officers. So I say the first thing we do is choose our words wisely. The second thing that we need to do is talk to people who don't think exactly the same way as we do. Like I said, education is being able to listen to almost anything without losing your temper or your self-confidence. When you talk to people who don't think exactly like you, then you see a different viewpoint and opinion. If you ever notice in any of my videos, I never tell people, you're wrong, and I never use name calling. Those are the two things where you will lose people in a conversation very quickly. The third thing I would like to see is get away from the conspiracy theories that have no facts. I've seen this video of people showing things of, look, this is George Floyd here. He's at his own funeral. Is it possible? Anything is possible. But in exploiting that, what is the solution? It takes a lot more money and a lot more investigation to find out these things are true. So while you're exploiting all these conspiracy theories, look for a solution. 
Talk to somebody who doesn't think just like you. Reach out. Let's not be like the political uh, machine we have in, 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 in Capitol Hill with Republicans and Democrats. Let's be a little bit different. We don't like that they don't reach across the aisle. Maybe we need to do it ourselves. Maybe we need to choose our words wisely. And maybe we need to teach our children better. I just want to put that message across. If you can't handle looking at things that are disturbing without getting angry or losing your self-confidence of who you are, maybe you should pass that program. I'm Dion Alexander, American First.